Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Hawk 30. A quick highlight, today is the day whenever we have a new set of drops going on, so feel free to check out the streamers out there, go show some love for Death Games or whoever else die today. I am not going to be able to stream, I had a bit of the family emergency and now I came back home and I need to take care of the other stuff, right? So, quick information, just to say that straight, go show some love for um, other content creators and get yourself free drops if it happens to be that you want to watch skill doing his thing tomorrow we are going to stream and tomorrow we are going to uh, provide the drops if you want to farm them together with me Anyways, when we have this out of the way, today we are playing with a Hawk 30 and Hawk 30 is a tier 8 uh, Beautiful fellas, beautiful tier 8 um, German light tank premium obviously and this tank has many, many, many good things, to be completely honest with you. This tank has extremely good high explosive ammunition. 102mm penetration is very, very nice. Uh, quite a nice gun. The standard ammo is fine, heat ammo is fine, the gold, uh, the bloody uh, high explosive is fine, the accuracy is fine. In other words, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that there is not many things to complain whatsoever about this tank, right? At least that's what I think and that's how I look into all of this. Um, overall, probably the worst part of being a tier 8 premium light tank is that you are fighting against the ELC events, right? Uh, but skill, why is it a bad thing? That is a great question. The main reason why is it a bad thing because most of the light tanks can spot, right? I believe you agree with me um, and that's a truth, but ELC can spot better. And since ELC is such a great spotter, it is very, very hard to fight against the ELCs nowadays. Uh, we are talking about the superior spotter, right? And since it is a hard uh, tank to fight with, it can be just simply complicated to say that at least. It, it just is, you know, it doesn't really matter how you are going to look at this. And that is okay, but that's the game we are living in and that's what we need to do and we are going to be completely fine so in this situation our mission is to do as much damage as we physically and possibly can do right and in the same time we can spot if enemies are going to make a silly goose mistake i'm pretty sure about this that we are going to spot them and they are going to regret their life choices right that's the whole point of us sitting somewhere around this area Still, I have a question why you are not playing uh, where ELC is playing. And that is a very, very bold play, and it works until you are getting spotted. And since ELC has such a beautiful camo, the chance of him get, uh, getting spotted is very, very low. Compared to my, you know, four times bigger tank, it is significantly easier for me to get spotted in the uh, position like this. That's the main reason why I made a decision not to be so aggressive. Um, and in the same time, we have a losing spawn over there. Believe me or not, the losing spawn in the world of tanks is a thing, right? And uh, if it happened to be that you have a losing spawn, it is just simply significantly harder for you to play the game, right? It's just how it is. Meanwhile, we have IS-22 who made the decision to play against us. And that is okay. I'm not going to cry about this. I am going to show some love for him. And how much love am I going to show all of it? Plus on top of that, Progetto came from behind. So Progetto is going to clip this mother tracker and that is completely fine. So that means we can get another shot. Not the most intelligent trades over there, right? Not gonna lie. It wasn't that great. We lost a lot of hit points because he's a heavy tank. I'm the light tank. He doesn't need to aim. I need to aim and so on, so on. I get it. But nevertheless, everything will be okay and we are going to feel um, like fish in the water very, very soon. Especially whenever we will start slapping uh, enemies who are playing around this area. And oh boy, oh boy, let the farm simulator... Whoa! Let the farm simulator begin. What we can do, we can say hello for this dead Fede. And in fact, it's not like we can say hello. We will say hello, right? 
That's what we are looking for. Now we have a beautiful angle, let's try to punish him. And now hits will do extremely big job to eliminate this guy from the game or just simply to farm him as much as he, we physically and possibly can. And this is going to be all right, fellas. All we want to do, we want to be smart. We do not want to do some silly goose decisions. And we are going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Not as simple as I initially thought it is going to be, but this is okay. Now, Dede Fede is like a main meatball for us. All I need to do, I need to hit him, right? It is not that hard. All we need to do, we need to hit this mother trucker. Also, T-34, very, very nice. He should be sent to the garage just like this. Excellent. And even though I am spotted here, I kind of do not really care about this too much. Now... We still can expect that Borat and Double Penetrator will try to go brr, okay? We can definitely expect that. But we are feeling alright and everything should be fine, I guess. Good. Very, very good. Patience, fellas. Patience is the key in games like this. And unfortunately, we cannot spot too much over there, right? Where the spotting goes, this is quite a complicated thing. But what we can do, we can do damage. And damage doing with this time can work extremely, extremely well. Especially, especially, whenever we are fighting against the paper tanks. Oh, the Defede found the shot. Ay, 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 ay. That is not as good as I wanted it to be, but let it be. It's okay. We got this. TVP. We cannot do anything for TVP. We cannot do anything for this light tank. But what we can do, we can wait until this board will mess up. And mess up he will. Or this TVP, one out of two. Borat or TVP. Our T28 is sitting extremely well in this situation, fellas. Trust me on this one. He is sitting very, very, very well. So I just need to lurk around. And if I see... That enemies are making mistake like this guy did. I am just simply eliminating them, right? Oh, yo, 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 he showed his side. Okay, that is a problem. That is a problem. We need to leave this ELC sitting in this area. And now we are going to take this typical bush here. Why we are going to take this typical bush? Because we are pretty much the base defenders at the moment. And it very much depends how enemies are going to approach our team. There is a couple of approaches. They can go like this or they can try to flank around like this. And obviously what I am hoping for, I am hoping that enemy team will try to flank, right? That would be the best thing and that would be absolutely glorious. But before that we need to wait. Wow, what a hard game. You know, I just came back home from whatever situation I had and this is the very first game which I have and oh boy, oh boy, that is complicated but you know, some games, not every game is 5 to 15 and that is a good thing, fellas. That is actually a very good thing. Beautiful shot to the Mr. Double Penetrator. He did not um, spot it us, so that is awesome and this is exactly what I want to see. This is exactly what I want to see. Borat came back for a base defense himself. I'm a bit paranoid if this guy would go for a blind shot, but there is a chance that he won't realize that he can do that. And if it would be the case, then we are chilling and we are booming and we are having the best time ever. Ooh. Not that many hit points left in this game, fellas. I don't really think... Enemies have that many hit points left. How about if I would go up like this? Maybe we could say hello for that Dia de Fede. If Dia de Fede haven't made a decision to go back yet. He made a decision to go back. Okay, understood. So how about this double penetrator? How about this double penetrator, okay? He won't expect this one. Aiming fully. He doesn't know where I am. And I want to keep it in this way. I want to keep it in this way, fellas.
is thinking that I'm sitting somewhere around this area, but that's not the case. But he doesn't know that. All we need to do, we need to catch this guy making a mistake, and we are chilling. Plus, on top of that, the other fede. Good. Excellent. This is what I need. And he did not spot us. That's the most important thing. Now, Dede Fede. We know that Dede Fede is sitting somewhere around this area, right? We know that. And we are sitting very, very good. Now, Dede Fede is thinking about going up. Good luck with that, buddy. That is risky. We are okay. One more for a good measure. Beautiful. Now Borat and Baza. Now Borat and Baza. Borat is quick. He is extremely quick. But it doesn't change the fact that we should get into the defense position in time, right? At least that's what I want to believe. And my play is going to be here to pretty much just simply wait until they will go into the cap and start capping the base. That's all there is to say about this, right? That's all I need for a full happiness, and we are going to be okay. Um, our ELC even is doing a phenomenal job. By the way, skill, nice assisting damage. You are playing with light tank, uh, good. Zero, flat zero. Hey, guys, we are doing damage in this game. We do not really have any alternative option, to be completely honest with you. All good. All we need to do, we need to wait here. We have three minutes, fellas. We do not need to get involved to the maximum. This is completely unnecessary stuff, right? And once again, Borat will lurk somewhere around this area. Okay, Baza is going for a base defense. Baza is going for a base defense. And what are we supposed to do now? Borat is on top. Okay. At least now we know that Borat is on top. We need to kill this Borat, and after Borat will be dead, all we need to do, we need to go for... Oh, no! I thought I almost threw this. And after that, we can go for Mr. Baza. But until this point, we are chilling and we are enjoying ourselves. And in fact, I think I am that brave that I can go for Borat one-on-one. -on -one. Since he is down to fartable, this is not that big of a deal, to be completely honest with you, right? Step by step, little by little, arriving here, Borat is thinking about shooting me, but luckily I reacted first, that's good, and now we need to figure out how we can eliminate the bloody Baza 176. Because I have a feeling that Baza 176 might sit somewhere over there. And if Baza is sitting in that position, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be um, a very, very, very rough battle for us. Oh, what a hard game for warming up today, fellas. 15-minute battle, but you know what? Those games are actually exciting, at least for me, you know? At least for me, those games are very, very exciting. We have CVS. Okay, Baza is sitting here. Beautiful. Now we know where he is. Excellent. And you mother trucker, you did absolutely amazing job. Beautiful, fellas. For a very first battle, that was absolutely amazing, okay? I am all the time happy to see the games where I actually need to think how to play the game and how to do the things properly because if I won't, you know, the situation is going to be 10 times worse. Uh, you get the point what I'm saying. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, all in all, I'm super happy. 3.8 thousand damage, 5 uh, um, kills, which is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. We are first by experience and we are first by the damage. And in the same time, we are making a bit of profits. Excellent. More games like this. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Okay, fellas. And for round number two, we have Westfield and Counter Battle. I must admit, fellas, this session is very, very hard. Most of my games... 
are very sub average you know when the games are going 15 to 1 or whenever you are messing up uh, it happens for the best of us so in today's session you are not going to see games in a row i will play five six eight games whatever and we are going to pick the best games which we had sometimes it's not your day and i really want to cover um, hawk 30 i know this is very much requested tank so let's try to play well and let's try to show how to play with this tank successfully so the first things first best well and counter battle i think i'm going to take the lower bush and i will try to punish every and each medium tank who are trying to take the long road and who are trying to um be sneaky mother truckers if you know what i mean first of all unfortunately i got countered by the black dog which is okay he happens once in a while and black dog changed his mind and oh boy oh boy um <laughs> yeah unfortunate my man unfortunate that wasn't a great idea to um focus on me if i can say so and that's okay he's paying the tax for his stupidity or for his mistakes however you want to call this and we are feeling great but we are not done we are just starting our journey. I really want to punish every and each mother trucker who is trying to flank us, right? This is the most important thing and this is very, very, very good strategy overall. The truth to be told that usually I can shoot from here and I'm not going to get punished unless someone is sitting here, right? But since in this situation we do not really have anyone sitting in this position, we are just farming crossing forces and this is exactly what I want to see, right? I might be spotted because this guy peaked at the moment when I shot and that is okay, you know? This is, this is not a big deal for us even though we have like three guns who are trying to shoot us. It makes absolutely no difference whatsoever for us. And we are going to return right to the same position because once again I do not really think that they can spot me unless I am shooting right so that being said we are sitting very very well and we are enjoying our journey unfortunately our scorpion gun doesn't work that well right he is missing quite a bit of shots but it happens for the best of us and you can play with the most beautiful tank and sometimes the tank is just going to say not today and I had some situations when I was spotting for uh, uh, for quite a bit, but simply no one could have fired, no one could have shot. And that's okay, you know, that's World of Tanks and this is a gameplay with a light tank. That is okay, we are going to survive. So, this game has a very, very, very big potential. If our team will be able to hold this or win this, Every and each mother trucker who is trying to make pressure over there, we are going to slap them and we are going to show some dominance towards them. And I can promise you that they should not enjoy this, right? Good. Meanwhile, we have Iron Arnie moving through the middle of the field. That is okay. And once again, I am sitting in the bush lane here. Good luck to outspot the light tank with the CVS, with the optics and other stuff, right? And you know what is the best part of all of this? I can make a double bush myself and I can simply do some damage. So this is perfection what you are seeing so far with the light tank. This is very, very good and this is exactly what we are looking for. We are getting assisting damage, we are doing damage and we are abusing the bush mechanics to the best of our abilities. And this is what we need and this is what we want. That's what I'm talking about. Today was a very, very hard day, truly. Um, to find the games like this, you know, the first game was hype up and everything after that. Second game, third game, it felt simply kind of badly. So, uh, usually you are seeing the games in a row, you know, but this time it is going to be exception and we will cherry pick games a bit. And I believe this is understandable and it happens sometimes. Sometimes it may be not your day. Anyway, so far we are doing a great job, 4.3 thousand combined, we are doing an excellent job, fellas. I would go as far as to say that we are doing excellent job and we are eliminating um, this side to the best of our abilities. Nice. This guy should be dead. He doesn't have too much armor, so you know, uh, whenever, whenever um, this tank is getting spotted, it's kind of a game over for him. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do with you? What to do with you? 
I really want to eliminate this bulldog, but to be fair with you, I have a feeling that bulldog completely relocated at this point. Which is fair enough, I guess. How about... How about if we would relocate somewhere over there? I mean, there is double scorpion. Yeah, there is a double scorpion. I would love to say hello for them. Beautiful. I might be spotted. I am spotted. Good. There is a chance that someone will pick like this to slap me. Looks like no one reacted, but that sounds like their problem. So what we can do, we can try to take the bush somewhere over there and say hello for a scorpion, right? This could be very, very beneficial for us and we can do an excellent job here. Let's see, let's use the bushes just like so. I know I'm open for one scorpion. Oh, yo, papa. I know I'm open for one of the scorpions over there, but that's okay. Good, very, very good. He missed the shot. And Nomad and Pantera. Ay, 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 ay. Mistakes, kill mistakes. Don't do mistakes like this. Whew. We are okay. We got this. I'm returning to the same bush because they are thinking that they are safe, okay? This is what they think, that they are sitting safe, that life is beautiful, that I cannot do absolutely anything for them, but little did they know that if they are going to pick up here, we are going to claim their lives. Very, 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 very hard. Those mistakes are kind of ruining this game. But what can you do? It happens. Okay, be patient, fellas. Whenever you are playing with the light tanks, I think patience is the key. And you just simply need to be patient. You know, you can look at this however you want to. If you are impatient, um, you may take most of your hit points as a damage. And after that, you can, try, uh, you can cry for three days. And tears won't solve absolutely anything. So we are going to wait here. I have no doubts whatsoever that eventually enemies will make a mistake. As an example, this guy is trying to get involved. There is no way I'm going to get spotted. Good, as you can see, I am not, and he is eliminated. Excellent. Now, I would love to say, say uh, I would love to see the same thing with P44 Pantera because it could happen. And in the same time, ooh, Scorpion eliminated our light tank. Okay. So what is the chance that Scorpion... Oh, yes, you are. Beautiful. Look at this. We are providing our team with spots left, right, and center, as you can see. This game is huge. 5.8 thousand is very, very, very good for a light tank. That is very good. Especially the tier 8 one, right? And there is still plenty of the ways for us to get some use. First things first. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Enemy light tank is eliminated. Now our gentleman can try to make a bit of pressure like this and he would dig the P-44 Pantera out from that position. And after that, we are playing the game. After that, we are gaming. In fact, I think I can be that guy who is just simply getting involved here. Okay. I have a feeling that P-44 Pantera, he... Uh, won't be able to escape from the position and I can take the double bush. If I'm double bushing, oh boy, oh boy, he is in the deep kaku hole. And since our guy is playing uh, quite safely, which is not a bad thing, you know, playing safely, it's completely fine. Um, I have a bit of the room to play more aggressive myself. Okay, beautiful. How about this gentleman sitting here? Okay, very, very nice. All we want to do, we want to hit his side. We are eliminating him from the game. Beautiful, fellas. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There is still ISU and Scorpion, but I have a feeling that they will sit here or maybe still in the same position. Could be very possible. Either way, we got this. Look at this. We are trying to push like this. Hip, hip, hooray. And where is the P-44 Pantera? How are you doing, my man? P44 Pantera is sitting here. I am punishing him in the 
back of the turret and he's dead. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. This is perfection, fellas. Meanwhile, we found the Scorpion. Good luck for Scorpion to outspot us. Now he started panicking. Uh, that's for sure. We are slapping him with high explosives. Or for a good measure, we are missing the shot. Uh, just because we have some mercy, that's okay. And since he's going down, we are just waiting for a perfect shot to eliminate him from the game. And last but not least, there is ISU. And ISU won't enjoy this. Very, very nice, fellas. This is perfect. This is the, um, I mean, apart that one mistake which I made, right, this is a book play for a light tank. I am truly extremely satisfied how I played the game. I feel like we did an absolutely phenomenal job and I wish every game would go like this, but sometimes, you know, fails are happening, some um, whatever bad matchmakings are happening, or some too good matchmakings are happening, it's okay. That is understandable. Meanwhile... All we are doing, we are just trying to make pressure like this. We are going up front. We are politely asking not to cap the base because we are going to spot this mother trucker in a second. But yes, here you go. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. That's it, big boy. That's it. <sighs> Perfection. You see? Sometimes it is worth to play a bit more games in order in order to get the score like this and I am really satisfied with my um, decision not to show the bad games right? or uh, horrible games whenever session is going south but actually to wait a bit until uh, the sun will start shining again and night will be over and indeed night is over now right. Absolutely glorious performance. So what do we have, fellas? Uh, in this game, we have casual 3,000 damage, 5.1,000 assisting damage. That brings our score to uh, 8,000 combined, which is absolutely amazing. And that is very, very good in my opinion. We are first by experience. We are first by the damage as well with the light tank. And we got 130,000 profits. That's what I'm talking about. But overall, performance doesn't look good because so many f I had so many fails. It's crazy. And the last but not least, we have step standard battle. Um, I think we are feeling alright unless we are going to get blind shooted by 4005, which could happen as well. But I think the standard bush gameplay looks and works extremely, extremely work in this situation. So what we are doing, we are getting into the standard bush, we are drifting into position, and we are simply spotting every and each mother trucker who is trying to cross like this. Oh no! <laughs> uh, how close that was. And how close that was. Oh my bananas! How did the Mr. Shitluck outspotted me? That was something unusual, fellas. Okay, not bad. Not bad, my man. Not bad. You know what? I will give you something to you extra, you know? Extra love and extra care. Uh, now, luckily for us, our light tank did an absolutely amazing job. He slapped him back, so uh, the Mr. Shitluck is going to be a bit afraid and a bit paranoid. And this is exactly what we are looking for. Look at this beauty. Okay. Uh, not the best angle over there from the Kapaza for us to hit, at least with high explosives. But once again, we are okay. I'm trying to check out, am I going to get spotted once again? And apparently it is not the case. I am not going to get spotted once again by this uh, Senluck. Or maybe he relocated, who knows. Um, anyways, the best part of all of this is... No! He's baboon! You know what? That is mean. To hit the light tank in this situation, that is mean. I do not want to spot him. No. I feel I feel bad about this, okay? Just saying. I feel a bit bad about this. He said, you know what? I don't care. And I have a feeling that he was baboon. Unless I have a feeling that he was baboon. And that is kind of sad ending. But what can you do? Anyways. Um, what to do next? What is the best position we could take in order to annoy enemies to the maximum? And I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Listen, how about if we would go here, we would knock the trees down and we would build ourselves a nest. Because enemies will try to make pressure here, and in fact, they are doing absolutely phenomenal job already uh, by pushing on our team, right? But you know what? 
we are okay. We are going to craft ourselves nest. At this point, I feel like I am a bloody pigeon, okay? Okay, maybe not pigeon, maybe raven, whatever, right? And we are just bringing um, the sticks to our, to our nest. That's what we are doing. Good, 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 good. Very fine. Actually, maybe not ideal, but we are going to be fine. Good. Now, whenever enemies will be too aggressive, and they definitely will be too aggressive, we are just simply going to eliminate them from the game. Unless they are going to uh, pretty much blind shoot me and send me to the garage, which also could be uh, very possible. As an example, look at this guy, and unfortunately our guys do not have a really good angle on him, if I'm not mistaken. So how about if I would use the double bush myself and just simply punish him? I'm trying to figure out would I get spotted. I'm not getting spotted. Okay, this is a green light for us for farming fiesta. This is a green light for us, fellas. Not only we are going to spot, but in the same time we are going to farm enemies whenever they are doing something silly. This is exactly what we want to see. This is perfection. This is perfection. Do we have anyone playing here? Oh, yes, Hori. Tier 8. I'm taking my time to aim, trying to eliminate him from the game. Unfortunately, I failed doing so, but that is okay. Beautiful. This could be a defeat, at least where the score goes at this point, but in the same time, this could be absolutely amazing game as well. All we want to do, we want to see enemies messing the things up, you know? We want them getting a bit more involved, and if they are going to get too much involved, we are playing, we are parting. We are having the best time ever. Samoa is running away. I'm trying to punish Samoa. Unfortunately, I failed doing so. That's okay. And I'm spotted. It doesn't really change absolutely anything for us at the moment. We're just getting um, crumbs of the assisting damage, but we are okay. What a hard session. Hmm. No, not a chance. Good. Centurion is dead. Now we can consider... Uh, taking this position over there. Mm, okay, our light and got slaughtered by by the waffle. Waffle could have went for a base defense, or maybe he's somewhere over there, or maybe even here, and he could have seen our light tank. Either way, this is not ideal situation for us, right? I believe I do not need to highlight this. This is not ideal. How about if we would knock this tree like so? This tree is going to give us extra protection. Don't worry, we are okay. Who is the most dangerous tank at the moment? At least I want to believe that uh, Black Dog is the most dangerous tank. Because if this mother trucker has CVS, we are sitting in a bit of the poo, -poo hole, you know? Fava 4005. Budget, I hope you are not a fucker. Oh, just you don't have a keyboard. That's good, fellas. The guy without keyboard is okay. Because he still can shoot, he still can click, and everything looks fine. I am already prepared mentally to run for my life. Whenever enemies will try to make a bit of pressure, I understand that um, their team is looking... Yes, good boy. Good boy, you beautiful, magnificent mother trucker. Very, very good. Now look, whenever this guy will overpeak here, and he will... He is going to take so much for the team, he will forget his name. Same goes uh, for Centurion. Whenever Centurion will go too high up, he is going to take one for the team as well, which is absolutely glorious. And this is the perfect session with this tank, honestly. Um, we are doing such a great job at the moment. I am super satisfied and I am happy how do I make decisions and how do I play the game. Uh, sometimes that's all we need for a full happiness. You know, a bit of the cold shower and after that life is beautiful. After that we can do the things properly and after that we can be proud of ourselves. And in the same time, you know, if if couple games a day goes bad, it doesn't, it doesn't really change absolutely anything if uh, you played very, very, very well overall, j but just a couple of games went bad, it doesn't really change anything. You get the point what I'm saying. Very, very nice. Good. Now what do we have? We have the Centurion action shit. Centurion action shit just fired. That is okay. I am going to punish him myself, which is amazing. 
and now we are going to trade with him. Why am I going to trade with him? Because I have a feeling that uh, this Wafflecock is looking at us and he isn't smiling, okay? Because there is two Wafflecocks in the game. Doesn't really change anything. We should be able to eliminate him from the game in approximately one second. That is good. And now the other Wafflecock will get a bit of the high explosive injection, if you know what I mean. Beautiful. Wafflecock in the open field and now if I would be him I would start panicking because oh boy oh boy high explosives are coming. Oh my! I am spotted, doesn't really change anything. I think I can eliminate him with high explosives. Excellent, good. And now Wafflecock. Mr. Wafflecock, how is your day going? Fellas, this is perfection with this tank. This is a perfect session where this tank goes. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, Mr. Waffle, where are you? Huh. I need to slap this black dog and other waffle cock at first, I have a feeling. I have a feeling this is the proper play. Because this guy, I think he is currently quite irrelevant for us. It would be significantly better to eliminate those two guys sitting over there. At least that's what I want to believe. And let's try to do this. Also, it looks like enemy black dog, he knows what he is doing, right? It shows only one number to the name, but uh, you can see that the guy is using anonymizer. At least I can tell that. Let's see. Hmm. What is the correct play? Okay, guys. Wafflecock went for a base defense. Now, this is the hard part. I have a feeling that we are going to see this black dog pushing on us, right? I do not know how is he going to do that. Is he going to try to approach us like this or go straight like this? This Waffle for sure is too lazy to uh, go around. He's too slow for that. So he should try to make a bit of pressure like this. At least that's what I want to believe. And our Arta needs to run for his life. Meanwhile, we found the Black Dog. Okay, Black Dog is definitely a danger for us. This is not good. And unfortunately, I missed very important shot. Nothing what I can change about this. I'm trying to escape at the moment because this is only one way how we can, how we can feel good. And look at this. Both of the waffles have a lot of HP. Like a lot. If you know what I mean. Wow. Okay. And Arta with a blind shot. Oh, what a great play. Okay, fair enough. I'm accepting my responsibility. That was a solid play by the enemy team, fellas. Uh, we tried to defend the base as much as we physically and possibly could. But unfortunately, in the end of the day, uh, enemies are winning the game, which is which is fair enough. You know, I think I think we deserved what we got. And overall, where the session goes, at least from the games which you have seen, I played extremely, extremely well and everything was fine. And now the games which you haven't seen, well, if you haven't seen them, they did not exist. How about that? Uh, 1.7 thousand damage, 4.8 thousand assisting damage. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful performance, at least from the games which we showed. And 83 thousand profits. Uh, now, to be completely honest with you, and you know I am, we can see how the things we are looking like whenever uh, um, whenever games did not went that well. And it happens, you know, everyone can mess up, everyone can make a um, bad decision and, uh, you know, you can get slapped. Or alternatively, you have no team and then, you know, you can be as good as you want to be in the game if there is no one to spot for or alternatively... Um, yeah, but you get the point what I'm saying. If If there is no team, there is no team. There is absolutely nothing what you can do in this kind of situation. So you need to stay humble. So overall, you have seen three games. You have seen uh, 
You have seen uh, the Fjords battle, which was absolutely glorious. You have seen the Westfield, which was very, very good and steps. And as you can see, there is games even like this whenever everything is going into such a bloody caco hole, whenever you are getting a coat of guard first and you are just simply taking one for the team. And, you know, I do not have anything to hide. Some games are going like this whenever you cannot do absolutely anything, and that's okay. Anyways, fellas, that's what I have for you today. I hope Hope you will enjoy it and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace